Hello, my name is Andrew Powell here for another demonstration video. In this quick video, here we have once again the Nexus 4, um, I think it's called the Nexus DDR4 from uh, Digilent, uses the Arctic 7 uh, FPGA. Here's a really quick look at my design. At some point in the near future, I'm going to post more information on my, on my website regarding like how this was made and all. But in this project, all it is is uh, using this microphone here, which I believe I spoke about in a previous project, it acquires samples and using a microblaze based system and also using the FIR filter, takes those samples and basically captures the base components and generates a little pulse, a pulse train here using the LEDs. So as you can probably notice as I speak, the LEDs start to flicker. Essentially the FIR filter is designed such that it captures the lower frequency components. I believe it's basically a bandpass that ranges from like, I don't know, zero to maybe 300 hertz or so. And just to further demonstrate this, I'm gonna play a song. Oops. And here we go. So, as you can see, Speaker plays music, microphone captures samples, and using the system that will be explained in the post, it essentially generates, uh, basically gets the samples of the lower frequency components. And like I said before, it uses a, uh, the microblaze uh, MCU, and I'm also using the FIR filter and several, several other IP, including the, the XI uh, DMA core. So, most most of the processing is done using the, the IP and the MCU. I believe I only made one core that, that actually uh, has custom Verilog used. And that basically concludes this demonstration video. Thank you.